Did you know that one of the most prescribed drugs after a heart attack might not even help and could actually harm women specifically? A massive study of over 8,500 patients found that for people with normal heart function after a heart attack, beta blockers did not improve survival, repeat heart attacks, or stop hospitalizations for heart failure. Women with completely normal heart function who took beta blockers had worse outcomes, including higher risk of death, a second heart attack, or hospitalization compared to women who did not take them. The problem I have with this is for more than 40 years, beta blockers have been the go-to prescription after a heart attack. They're meant to lower heart rate and blood pressure. Even last year, over 80% of US patients discharged from the hospital were on beta blockers. What's shocking is that American and European standards and guidelines have recommended beta blockers for this exact situation long-term for heart attack patients with absolutely no distinction safety-wise between men and women. And that's a huge problem because men and women do not respond to beta blockers the same way. Women metabolize and process these drugs very differently. Yet the original landmark trials did not include enough women to analyze outcomes by sex. So for decades, our so-called gold standard was built on male dominant data and women we now know have paid the price. Remember, heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. More than 800,000 Americans have a heart attack every single year, and the vast majority are prescribed a drug that was never properly studied in women. The absurd part is that it took over 40 years to properly study this situation, despite its massive impact on American health. For decades, the standard of care went unquestioned, even though the science was not there to back it up, especially for women. This is why medicine must constantly evolve and be questioned, or we risk repeating the same mistake for decades. Let's challenge that standard together. Follow for more.